Hey YouTube, this is Print Practical. So I've been breaking down my Ender 3 Pro in order to put my custom direct drive extruder setup on it. And now I am down to the stock X carriage. So I'm gonna have to redesign this along with some probably supplementary parts in order to make the whole direct drive setup work. So let's jump into that. We have this new extruder motor and this thing is tiny compared to the current one on an Ender 3. And lastly, we have this dual gear extruder. Um, this was like $20. It has a three to one gear ratio, so it's gonna be able to make that smaller motor a little more torquey, um, be able to push out the filament a little easier. So I'm gonna remove all the wheels on this X carriage, and then we're gonna jump over to the computer, and we'll try and redesign this exact same thing, and then we can make whatever modifications we need in order to make this setup work. All right, so we have our newly designed X carriage uh, mounted up with the wheels on it, and it rolls on the X axis perfectly. Um, the hot end lines up perfectly with the holes, but the holes are actually a little too small, so I can't get the screws into them, or I need to taper the edges so that I can get it started in there, but that's no biggie. Now I gotta take my new extruder, a new extruder motor, and I'm gonna have to make a bracket that sandwiches between the two. And hopefully it's going to hold these over our hot end. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do there. So that's gonna be the next part of the design. We're getting a lot closer now. We have the extruder and the extruder motor now mounted. Um, the offset between the X carriage and where the Bowden tube is going to come out of the extruder is about a millimeter off of where the Bowden tube is going to enter the hot end. So I'm going to have to bump this out about a millimeter. Also, the bolts that go through the extruder into the extruder motor. Um, are a little short, so I might have to thin out this piece in between the motor and the extruder um, in order to make that fit, or I can find longer bolts. I just don't think any local hardware stores are gonna have that, and I don't feel like waiting to order something on Amazon. So I'm gonna thin this out. The next step is gonna be designing the fan shroud, and then designing the mounting points that are gonna be on the X carriage. Um, also, I gotta think about my BL Touch too and where I wanna mount that, but we are very close to having a X carriage design that's gonna work for this direct drive extruder.
So here's our latest carriage and fan cover. And it looks great. Here's my BL touch mount. And then here's where it screws onto the carriage. This just hooks around the other side of the carriage. Got the logo on there. Super cool. This is the carriage with the slight changes that I proposed. Just made this a little thinner. Bumped it out about a millimeter. So we're ready to reassemble and see how it looks. But this is looking sweet. So that's it. That's the finished director I've set up. Obviously nothing's wired yet, but everything is mounted and it looks really good. So just a note about these 3D printed parts. In this video, I printed them out in PLA. I would suggest printing them in PETG just because it's a little stronger, a little more heat resistant. Really, there shouldn't be many hot parts touching these pieces of plastic, but it's always better to be safe. Also, I might use my resin printer to print these out just to get a nice finished look. So that's it for the design portion of this project. I separated this project out into two videos, which the other one will be coming out shortly. The second video is going to show a teardown of the original extruder and hot end setup on the Ender 3. And then we're going to install the new direct drive system that we just designed, along with going over any firmware changes needed for the new BL Touch location along with some tuning for retraction settings and stuff because that stuff changes when you move to a direct drive setup. Also, I'm going to be installing a heat break, uh, an all metal heat break into the hot end to essentially give it a all metal hot end and that's a cheap upgrade of like $10. So, if you like what you saw, subscribe and let me know in the comments if you have anything you want me to design.